you are looking at the final look for our quick and easy office work makeup tutorial using only two eyeshadow colors. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification button so you will not be left behind for any updates and new things from my channel. Hello ladies, thank you for joining me here today. Most of us are very busy in life and work and that includes me. So this tutorial is a quick and easy two color eyeshadow office and work makeup tutorial which is highly requested from my very good friend Lisa who is a working mother and a very good friend of mine and let's begin put this one on so my hair will not bother me makeup directly to my skin guys is no 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 to me moisturizing first is a better way of protecting my skin and it also helps lacking in moisture throughout the day aside from that guys it also gives us a smooth surface for foundation and concealer application later on so i am using my l'oreal triple active in all skin type a combination of the ardell brow pomade in medium brown and the l'oreal brow artist plumper i fill in and draw my eyebrows to the look that i want to have using the ardell angle brush throughout our work day we want our eyeshadow and makeup to last long so eye primer is very important and i am using the soft ochre from MAC. With a flat brush, a little goes a long way in this product. Don't forget to set your eye primer with a light matte eyeshadow. And in my case, I'm using the Sim Sweet chocolate from the Too Faced chocolate bar. Using a fluffy brush like this, just dip in into the product and dust it all over the eye makeup. Moving on to our eye makeup. Since this is a two color eyeshadow, the first eyeshadow I'm going to use is a dark shade. And in my case, this is the Milk Chocolate from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar using a fluffy brush like this. Just dip in your brush and tap the excess and a fluffy brush that is clean and start diffusing the color or Blend, blend, blend so that we will not have any harsh edges in our transition color. Using a small fluffy brush from El Maquillage. Our transition shade, let's go and hit that crease area using the same color. Using a wiper motion, guys, marry the crease and transition color together by blending, blending, blending. Even if I am working and with makeup, I still want to have some fun and glitters during the day. So I decided to have my second color. And this time, I'm using the MAC Kirk Smash. I don't know how to say it, if I pronounce it correctly. If not, so comment me down below. But this is the MAC Kirk Smash together with a flat brush and my MAC Prep and Prime. Spray on the flat brush and you know, apply it all over the lid. I spraying the flat brush with Prep and Prime from MAC. It will make the eyeshadow foiled and intense. Next, expect that you have a lot of fallouts when you use a pigment eyeshadows or a glitter eyeshadow. So what will you do? Just get a wipes and clean it up. Or if you have a makeup remover, you can use it and clean up your face. For a long-lasting foundation throughout the day, primer from the Smashbox Photo Finish is an amazing product for taking photos and selfie. So my experience, guys, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup does not cake on me and it's a long wear foundation with SPF 10 which is also good for protecting your skin from the sun. 
my Zarea foundation brush, I'm going to buff the foundation to my skin and later on using my damp beauty blender, I'm going to bounce the beauty blender all the way up to the universe and back to my face to have a natural look and I'm using the Super Stay 24 Hours Concealer from Maybelline. That I am just like you, I have pores, I have dark circles and I have imperfections in my skin so what better way to hide them is by concealing it going to use the loose powder from derma blend with a fluffy brush all over my face and a dense brush under my eye looking at my face guys it's powdery it's white it's baking under my eyes so for my contour today i'm using the maybelline face studio contour and for my bronzer i'm using the catrice sun glow bronzing powder next here i'm going to clean up the baking under my eyes using a fluffy brush so i'm a blush girl and i'm using the essence touch blush satin coral next using a powder blush i'm going to blend my whole face so i won't have the harsh edges and it will look like everything is seamless we're almost done here guys i'm going back to my eyes to tight line using the sakara eyeliner and using a very small detail brush i'm going to smoke out my lower lash line using our first eyeshadow which is the dark color eyeshadow using a floppy brush and my mac fix plus i'm going to wet my brush and apply the naked pigment eyeshadow as my highlighter for today for the bridge of my nose under my brow bone the highest point of my cheek and my forehead area off camera focus on and applying lipstick using my mac mare and let's proceed to highlighting the inner corner of my eyes using the mac naked with an angled brush and spraying it with the mac fix box to seal the makeup in and take away the powder from our face just pick up any setting spray and for me i'm using prep and prime setting spray this is my good to go setting spray our office work makeup tutorial with a two color eyeshadow quick and easy For my quick update guys, my next video will be my thoughts and we talk about the new collection from MAC which is the Stereo U collection.